We'll see you in Singapore. What are you doing? Just checking what's in my seven kilo bag. <laughs> All right, so we're in Singapore now. We are hanging out for Mitch and Daz to arrive this afternoon. And then we're filming a whole heap of stuff here and eating a lot along the way. So, show you along, show you what we eat and how many meals we managed to eat in the five days that we're here. Onion and chicken floss. Made it! Hopefully, I'm back in. <laughs> Says it's still in Brisbane, but we'll see. Oh, hey! Fancy seeing you here! <laughs> so, first day of filming, first meal of filming. Meal number one of God knows how many, however many Daz has planned for us. Uh, what? Thank you. That's alright. <laughs> what are we eating? It's called carrot cake, believe it or not. Um, it's like a, these are like a white turnip, and they uh, mix it with like glutinous rice, uh, and then they set it, they like, steam it, and they cut it up and they pan fry it with like veggies and soy sauce and chili. Super tasty. Yeah. Sorry, babe. Oh. I'm married. Uh, who did you get that from? Don't, What's going on here? Don't you worry. Oh, she said, are you married? And I said, yes. She said, oh, are you sure? I said, um, I can be swayed. And then her husband gave her away. He said, take, take. <laughs> One day in, I've already lost him. <laughs> All right, meal number two. Hainanese chicken rice. Um, a kind of a more modern version, boneless one. With a really delicious sauce. It was very tasty. This is from the store of the lady who asked to marry him. I'll oh, put a ring on his finger. <laughs> Got there before I did. Day two, we are at a Hainanese chicken rice place. We have the steamed and the roast Hainanese chicken rice. So now we're at Maxwell Food Centre. It's pretty bloody hot. <laughs> There's no breeze, we're under a tin roof. I've eaten my own body weight in chicken rice. Look, I love my job, but sometimes it's tough. <laughs> I'm going see through. <laughs> <laughs> and we're on to chicken rice number two for the day. Meal for the three. trip. We had two types for the last one. Oh, we have two types. So chicken rice number three. We're about to have the fourth. About to head on to the fourth. I think I'm trying to do a meal tally. I think we're on eight now for the whole trip. Eight. eight. I reckon we're about eight. Really close up shot of Andy's sweat. <laughs> How you feeling, Andy? Full. Full? Yeah. <laughs> I've eaten way too much. Full and a little bit of sweet. <laughs> yeah, it's hot. Okay, now I'm the zero mode. If I blow on it, it'll make it less spicy. What an idiot. We're heading to Mot 32. Okay. okay. Keeping duck. Mm -hmm. It's going to be good. Yes. 
day three. We're gonna go get some Kai toast for breakfast. What are we on, like Thursday, Friday? Uh, big shorts day, so like four or five shorts. Lots of eating, surprise, surprise, who would have thought? Um, gonna go to a wet market, grab a bunch of food, have a bit of a picnic if this weather clears up. Then you dip the yeah. The final one, this one is the curry chicken. This one is also very famous. People like to... I'm cracking this egg, this soft boiled egg, this is hard boiled. Andy did it so gracefully. I don't think I'm going to do the same. You can't get any shell in there, so, alright. That was pretty good. It looks good from the outside, but I definitely saw like a little shell. <laughs> you want more into the bottom? You want more? No, no. I think you got to definitely eat that shell. <laughs> yeah, it sounds sandy in there. I think there might be a few shells. Their own versions of dippy eggs and so Yeah. Ice white coffee. Basic Mitch, who doesn't really eat <laughs> soft boiled eggs, is going in for a little dip. You should grab your own food. You should also try that one. It's like soldiers. Yeah. <laughs> Who's not gonna like this? Let's see what all the fuss is about. It's really good. Unsurprising. This is where it gets annoying because I want to eat all of that, but I know I've got like three more dishes to go. For a short idea, we are um, pulled some names out of the okay. bowl. And basically, we're going to go around the hawker by whoever's name we chose a mystery dish. We've all got to come back and uh, eat what that person has bought for us. So, no one really wants Andy to pick their name because who knows what he's going to buy for us. Don't know if you can see, but my soup is forming a bit of a skin there. I love that one. Can you quit me? Taz is losing it. <laughs> She's so concerned by these dishes. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I don't know what the heck this is. Okay. So it says to me in black blue. <laughs> if we got us something crazy or oh, and Mitch so right that's enough food for now what's the fruit we're eating um we've got some dragon fruit some pineapple some honey juice some rock melon this is fun it's oh, a pear kind of pear. local pear isn't it Um, yeah, so it fell off my bike and then I put the brakes on and it turned out that the wheel was here and this was just glass sliding across the ground. <laughs> Me skidding on my thine. This is like, what, three months old? Oh well. We are heading uh, into the market to get some produce and then filming a dish with some locals, which will be really cool. So Daz and I are the bag ladies.
The final scenes in Singapore, the team is discussing thumbnail photos, final dishes we need to eat, final dishes Andy needs to eat. But there's one last thing we have to do, and that is eat an entire jury in a month. How's that? Go, That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Beer o'clock? <laughs> I reckon it's beer o'clock. <laughs> I reckon we've had a go.